Go, oh, boys. Don't do it. I'm gonna take that mount. I'm gonna take it from you, maggot lord. I killed all of your troops. Yeah, all right, everybody. Welcome to the indie showcase with the Birdman. I am said Birdman. This here is Banner of Blood. And this one, to be honest with you, it's like I saw it and it reminds me of so many things. I feel like there's something in particular that I can't necessarily put my finger on. And I'm sure somebody will probably point it out in the comments to me that it reminds me of. But at least what I could give you the best description of this bad boy here. It's almost like if you were to take a uh, mountain blade or at least the concepts behind that uh, battle brothers as well. Essentially, we are going to be building kind of like our own platoon here in this medieval world with orcs, goblins and all sorts of stuff like dragons and whatever. But there's also like crafting and building mechanics like a little bit of a uh, let's say a don't starve for instance. So there's so many little small things in this one that I saw that it kind of reminds me of, but I'm pretty sure somebody will point out to me like what exactly it's a bit more of a fair comparison to this. But it's still a game that's early in development as you can see down there. Well, kind of. Uh, basic functionality testing. So the main premise is not going to be here. This is going to just kind of show us the basics. So it's something I want to put in your radar in case uh, you know, you're looking for something like this. Because when I saw it, it looked pretty grim, dog. It was like this giant orc ogre ripping this human apart. Let's see here. I will be the sacrificial lamb for this endeavor. So, uh, old Falcon 69. The army name is going to be the nest. It's a very, it's a, it's a name that strikes fear, obviously, in the hearts of our opponents. Oh, there comes the nest. Oh, you best flee now. Soul Delin Captain, and we have the Gao Liang, the old officer. I mean, by the looks of it, it seems like uh, you have a little slightly better stats, so I see no reason not to choose this individual right here. Uh, we could also customize a little bit. I haven't seen anything for hair differences. At least for phase, we have a couple of common ones over here. But as I've mentioned, it's very feature light at the moment because it's mostly just for functionality testing. Uh, let's go with the big old beard. Let's go with angry. This is the angry mug right there. Apparently, I lost my helmet. That's fine. Okay. So we start off over, uh, I guess I'm behind the time for whatever reason. Now, as I understand right now, we're essentially going to be sent waves of enemies occasionally here. And we have to just kind of deal with them. I'm not sure if we can actually go out and do any sort of like actual hardcore quests. Because I mentioned just kind of functionality build that they threw up here. Um, woodcutter spot would be nice to have early on for sure. As well as maybe a st uh, stone cutter. So let's start off here with the woodcutter spot first. Uh, are these trees available for us? I imagine so. All right, my friends. Off you go. Meanwhile, I'm going to come over here and uh, apparently gather some berries. Not sure if it looks like he's gathering berries or he's just kind of like rubbing one out. Stop it. So the moment he gets some wood for us, um, we need to then make the stone cutters. Because after the stone cutter, uh, yeah, go ahead and enter the meme. That's fine. We do. We do. After the stone cutters, we need to make ourselves obviously some weapons because I don't think my dudes have anything to their name right now. No, we got nothing. And if uh, orcs show up, as I've seen in that trailer, it could be pretty bad for us. You think he's acquired some wood by now? He, he must have, right? Could I also mine big stone? Yeah. All right. Let's see if I could uh, acquire maybe like a stone or two myself. I got a stone there. One, one big problem here is that I can't, I can't do hold down E, nor can I spam. I need to actually hit E like in a rhythm because it's very easy to cancel out of the animation if you hit E too early. So a little bit annoying, but hey, what can you do? So one of you get to work on that. Here's what I'll do meanwhile. I will also help with the chopping of the tree. But I need to stop now because I need to assign one of you guys to actually make weapons for us. Here we go. Jin, it's your job now. Uh, oh, yeah. Make me a uh, stone axe. Yes. Make me one of those. And make me a bow. And actually, you know what? Hey, 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 hey I'm not done with you. Man table, come on. Make me two of those. Okay. Oh, enemy raid. Ah. Is this stop time? We have one stone axe. Oh, I, 
Okay, I could I could only assign them through here. Gonna be a problem. Inventory. Okay, here we go. We're gonna have a primal bow and a stone axe at the very least. Uh Pharamon, what do you have? Pharamon's got his fist, nothing else. Oh, this guy's got his spear. Or, I mean you could call it a spear, it seems more like a pointy stick. So Pharamon, you, my friend, are gonna take over Stone Axe duties and Aratorn. You're gonna be a thorn in everybody's side, quite literally, because you'll be pegging him with some arrows. <laughs> you see what it? No. There's some maggots and a blood fly. That was that was coming. Oh, that's good. Wait a minute. Oh, this guy's already dead. Oh, did he did he kill one of my dudes? Oh, he almost killed one of my dudes. Hey, hold up, dude. Stay back. There's a blood fly here. It's dead. All right. Uh, we survived. One way. I'm surprised. And we can now exchange the spoils of war for the following supplies. A bloodhound? Ferocious savage creatures tamed through relentless efforts and bloodshed, serving as fearsome mounts. Now, the problem with this is, I don't think this is, uh, we could use this yet. So as good as, good as it sounds, I think I'm just going to take the troops for now. Believe me, the idea of uh, those dudes uh, mounting and, you know, wandering around sounds very great and everything. But I don't think we're, we're quite... Because it did say seven, right? And we're only four. I need some help right now, not later. Uh, where's some stone? There's some nice stone over here. All right? Off you lads, go to do your thing. Are you guys recovering HP over time? I hope you are. And then here... Erethorn's the only guy who's not doing anything? At least from my original guys. Okay. Raid. Oh, we got some more maggots. Everybody rally to me. Rally to me, lads. Okay. Let's go. Don't don't just stand there viciously swinging your weapons. I said let's go. We could also do some little dodging. You know? I'm not sure if they have any invisible friends. We just kind of like Dark Souls. Okay, one dude down. Oh, no! Don't kill him! Oh, you, you guys allowed... Allowed who to die? Who was that who perished? It was, uh, the other guy. Wait, wait, was it my, my, my... No, it wasn't my... My woodcutter, was it? It was! No! Pheromond! <laughs> Fine, Arathorn, you have a new job now. Go, go cut some wood, dog. Rough mace. Stone axe. Rough mace. Well, at least these guys do drop some goods. We didn't level up off of that, unfortunately. What the hell is this uh, HP bar here? Excuse me? Collect berries? Yeah, we do have berries around here. We built. We actually can build both of these, so that's good. Um, we have to put the new guys that we got to work, though. So, gatherer's tent. Plenty of berries here. And hunter's tent. Uh, I'm not sure if I've seen any wild critters around. Wild uh, critters? Oh, I want to set this up like over here. Far away from us, I mean, critters are more likely to show up where humans are not at, right? That would just kind of make sense to me. So, we have somebody cutting down trees. We don't need anybody right now making things for us, so I guess, Jin, you are replaceable. Right now, I want you. I oh, we could set two people up here. Next enemy raid. I hold up, hold up. Can I run? No, no run. No running allowed in the wild. Don't let them do it to us again, okay? Don't let them get to my workers. One of them down. We got a blood fly here. Don't worry about the blood fly. I got the blood fly. Okay. No problem. Well, let's see. I got, first and foremost, I could call for a troop or a heavy infantry armor. <laughs> I am going to say... Wait a minute. Command point seven. Hmm. We might not be able to do that. Another troop, I guess, would be nice. Fine, let me make it the other troop, I suppose. Now, everybody's assigned to something, right? Two gatherers uh, cutting down trees... I did assign before the raid somebody to do this. Okay, so the other extra dude is kind of like, you know, freed up here at the moment. Oh, uh, what about hunting? Yes, you're right. But you know what? This guy's got a bow? Who are you? 
man with a bow, who are you? Okay, you know what? I think I could figure out who he is from the... Am I faster if I just do this? Maybe. Aha. Inventory. Who is my man with the bow? I mean, we had a couple of bows here, as a matter of fact. Arathorn seems to be uh, the boy at the moment, though. So, Arathorn, you are going to be Hunter Man with your bow. Makes sense, right? Oh, yeah, look at him. He's, he's ambitious. Go out and get him, Tiger. It's all you. Alright. You're the new fella who showed up. We have uh, another raid happening. You think they give you enough time to, like, you know, breathe a little bit of uh, air in between these things? No. Alright. Uh, take a shot. That's a terrible shot. I'm not even sure what angle you were actually even aiming him for. Boy, speared him pretty good. Oh, look at this guy. Okay, I want to see you land a shot because you're my you're my hunter. Okay, I need you to like, be good. Hey, um, infantry dudes with shields, can you please? No, do not allow my peasant. Look, look, look what you guys have done. I'll take the I'll take the hits over my dogs just because I don't want to die. Can you charge? Is there like a charge? <laughs> All right, this is good. It's gonna hide behind the trees. Here's a here's I'm gonna throw a little a uh, little bit of uh, advice to the death. Maybe uh, when you're behind trees, like you do that thing that most games do, where you can actually see through. You know, gives the item a little bit of a translucent effect, so I can see behind. I mean, that'd be good. Yeah, just gonna just gonna throw it out there. You know? It might be it might be helpful for the player. I I'm just saying. Now my morale is sturdy. Coins is 15. We got 18 food, 18 raw materials. Let's see if there's anything we can do here beyond this. I mean, we've already built everything, right? What else can I do? Command table? Maybe I could do something from... Another raid dog! I just... I just got done with the raid. And here we go. Maggot low! Oh! Oh! Oh, oh boy! Oh boy. Okay, hold on. Oh boys. Don't do it. I'm gonna take that mount. I'm gonna take it from you, maggot lord. I killed all of your troops. Oh, I think I saw my boy actually land a... Yo, we got him! Yo! <laughs> oh. oh, look at this. Generous spoils of war. Lightning in a bottle. Yeah, I caught lightning in a bottle, Lord, with my squad here coming through. Ever grow. Grant two points to your max HP each passing day. Two points to your... So every day I get an extra two points from HP. That's, that's very good. Haste increased by 100% for 20 seconds. Each soldier present increases the max health of the other units by three. Pretty good if you have like, the more dudes. I'm going to take this here for myself for now. Hey, could I also... Oh, is the mount dead? Oh, we killed the mount. I can't take the, the, the awesome... Glaive? I think that's a glaive? I'm not sure that's a glaive or not. Spear of some kind for sure. Alright. Well. I don't know. Maybe this is uh oh, there's a blood fly over there. You got it though, right? Thank you. Maybe this could be it for us here. No, it's still I wonder if the the blood flies show up when there's like all these bodies around. I guess that would kind of make sense, huh? That would make sense. My homeboy's hunting over here. We can't like assign like a uh, particular like hunts or anything like that. I imagine like as I've mentioned, it's like a basic functionality build. So that's what we can't do really much beyond this for the most part. Gathering, yeah, I mean, set him up for gather, but it's not like I could be like, hey, go gather over here. The only thing I, I have to my knowledge is the rally to me. I don't have like a, a charge command, although it says, you know, in progress over here, so... Maybe that's what that's about. And then in command table, I mean, basically all we have. Unless I'm missing something that's not so obvious because of the build itself. I guess we'll hold off for this next raid and that'll be about it for us. I just wanted to show it off to you, put it in your radar. As I mentioned, I like the premise behind it. I like the look of it. Um, obviously with uh, something, it's just going to be more blood flies. Obviously with more development time. I think this could definitely be a little low-key banger. As I mentioned, like it gives me like that mountain blade, battle brothers type of thing, the the crafting itself and the going out and like you know scavenging. I really haven't been focused too much on that right now because I'm Oh my 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 thing broke. 
my weapon does break. There's also uh, apparently durability of weapons that we just found out too. So yeah, it's definitely something to keep your eyes on for a fact. Now I'm just going to walk around with my big Ooga Booga stick and just uh, bonk things over the head. Either way, this has been Banner of Blood. Check it out. The demo is available to you guys as well. I'll have a link down below. Definitely want to keep your eyes on as the development comes along. I can definitely see this one pretty good. I'll catch you guys next time.